Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Juan from Inspiral Hacks. Today, I'm honored to have as a guest, my friend and a coach that you need to know more about, my friend, Rubianca. Now, Rubianca, aside from being a coach, she's also a speaker. And she has been an amazing speaker in our previous editions of Inspiral Mindset. Now, today we're going to address several points. But before I continue, hi, Rubianca. How are you today? Hi, Juan Carlos. Uh, good, good. Sunny outside. So that's uh, it's a good, uh, good morning. <laughs> Excellent. Indeed. You know, uh, I was also outside today and the sun is wonderful. And those are the exactly the some of those vitamins, vitamin D that we need to start a great morning. Rubianca, could you tell us a little bit for our audience from entrepreneurs around the world about you, about yes. My Fitness Me, for example? <laughs> yes. So uh, I'm Rubianca. I'm uh, 47 and I'm a multidimensional um, movement coach, which um, sounds very fancy, uh, but it is actually a, a, a trainer or a coach that teaches you to uh, move in space. So if we're looking at traditional strength training or traditional training, we are biased in, in a one specific plane of motion, which is the up and down, back and forth. Uh, but if we look around us and how we live, we live in a 3D space. And so we have rotations, we have side to side movements, and that we, um, in training, we don't train that. So in the gym, we don't train that. And um, uh, I found out that, well, being more efficient with day-to-day uh, -day movements will also give you more energy because you're, yeah, you're moving more efficiently, basically. And that's uh, what I do. So I help um, people uh, with, also with injuries or um, who wants to, to prevent injury in their sports. So I help them um, during these sessions. Wonderful. And if I may say, I consider that this multidimensional approach is indeed um, a very unique way and very useful. And I must say that probably even something that we also need always to check, not only for our body, but I'm even made to say to our, our, our way of life or living or businesses. There is a connection between all the activities that we have, all the all the muscles, all the bones, all the cells that are in our ecosystems. And sometimes, even as entrepreneurs, we tend to focus too much in one single scene without seeing the repercussions in the other ones. Now, Absolutely, yeah. Rubianca, talking about, indeed, from entrepreneurship um, and talking about multidimensional coaching, how has it been that journey for you? Well, for me, it started uh, when I got injured from my uh, from my training. Um, I got uh, a herniated disc kind of one year, one and a half years ago. So I was in pain and I couldn't do what I loved the most, which was moving my body and training uh, and being strong. And uh, from there on, I started looking at, well, the different ways of moving my body because I couldn't move the way I was moving because um, it was basically uh, not destroying my, my body, but it was really taking a toll in, 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 um, in my, on my joints and so forth. So I started looking and I found out about this multidimensional training and I started training this way and moving this way. And um, in the end, I didn't need surgery for my for my back. Uh, my pain decreased. It's still, of course, a, um, a, a weak point in my body, but I still maintaining with a three dimensional movement uh, training. And that's how I came into, into that. And I saw the benefits. And now, of course, I want to um, teach or, or, or inspire people to, to look at training in a different way. Wonderful, indeed. And, and with all the respect to all the, the, the 
the methods and the and, and the directions that they are out there from ancient world to current now, uh, we 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 do tend to see that there are a lot of activities or a lot of uh, learning processes where it's more of about a one single movement. Let's say, for example, karate. For example, is more about like one kata. So says uh, when I see it, I see it from the other side from tai chi, for example. When it's it's more about the flow. How you go from yeah. one movement to the other, and then we also see it in other sports like boxing. Even that, for example, we were talking about running. If I personally improved the way how I was running when I started even have, following a, a, a workshop with you, for example, that it has about the recovery side. Yes, yeah, recovery is one a very important point as well, and that's why I'm also um, teaching my clients. It's of course. Training is very important, but it's in the recovery where you your body can adapt or uh, can uh, can learn from what what you did in the session. So a lot of people think, okay, I, I need to train you know six times a week or whatever. Uh, so the more the better. That's their mentality, right? Um, but we forget or they forget that uh, recovery is basically it's actually part of their training as well. Without recovery, you will not improve because your body doesn't have the, the chance to um, to adapt and to get stronger and um, to learn from what, what uh, they did in the sessions. Exactly. And it takes me to the point that I, I was, we were writing this week about, for our blogs, about situations that had to do with burnout uh, we also have to talk about like the uh, the vast amount of hours that sometimes we put ourselves to work into a company or into a project without even thinking about our health or or let's say or or other important areas in our life like our family or spending time at home. So in that sense of understanding the boundaries that we need to set ourselves to become even uh, a, a better version of herself and in, in at the same time to increase her energy could i ask you for a few uh so, some gems that we could recommend to our entrepreneurs about recovery about uh multi-dimensional movement for example yes yeah so uh for entrepreneurs of course it, it is a very stressful uh situation they're they're in there's always Go go go! Right, as a, they need to perform. Um, so we uh, want to talk about balance. And a lot of of times, people think, okay, I need to do a little bit of that, a little bit of that, right? I need to uh, give my best, but I also need to uh, recover. Um, I think we need to go to extremes here um, in terms of balance. And we think, okay, extremes balance. How does that uh, fit in. But I do think if you need to perform, go for it 100%, right? Um, there's no time for chit chat or, or, or recovery or, or rest. Uh, go for it because that's where, what you need to do at that time. But when you decide, okay, now it's time to recover or to rest, uh, I do think then you also have to go to the other extreme uh, to really rest and not think about work. And that's where people, I think, go wrong a lot of times. It's like, hey, I'm at work, but I'm also thinking about rest. And when I'm at rest, I'm also thinking about work. Mm -hmm. And um, and then you don't have that balance because you're always uh, feeling a little bit guilty um, about resting or about working. Right. But if you put your um, mind to, OK, now it's time to grind. Now it's time to perform. I will do that. And then there's also the other time where you don't do anything and you just enjoy, connect, socialize. I think that's um, important. And um, it is a process that you have to go through because it's very, very difficult. I know myself as a as a mother of four. Um, I have my own business, so sometimes I will have to say, okay, now I, I really need to work on my business. I don't. Well, I, I'm not there for the family, 
But when I'm there with my family, then I'm really there. I'm present. So, um, and it is a, it is something that I'm also learning still, and it's an ongoing process. But uh, I think if you do it right, you really find that balance and the strength. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, uh, I was in a workshop this Monday, and it it was about scaling up business. And there was an interesting story in it because it, it, it was about this person that went to this high mountain. And when it reached the high mountain, then he was saying to the to the to the organizations, oh, he saw that other mountain in the far away that looked amazing as well. And he said, like, how can I get there? Where do we where do we start and how can I get there? And then the, the guy, the, the mentor that was there, he, he just put his arm and he said, like, Hey, first of all, you need to learn to appreciate the mountain you're standing in. So the message yeah. was there. It was like exactly what you were saying. Like indeed, like sometimes we're actually like we're not even enjoying the mountain where we are standing. The mom, the, right? The, yeah. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much. That was nice actually yeah, because yeah. I was thinking more about like long term situation. But what you just mentioned is like actually it, it's every single moment of our of our days. Wonderful. Yeah, it, it is uh, also acknowledging these moments, right? Also acknowledging that you're you're busy and you need to perform right now. So we're always talking about mindfulness and 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 being present, but being present also while you are uh, giving your all, uh, perform, you know, performing in your job um, or in the you know the the, the deadlines that you have. I think uh, we forget sometimes that it's uh, we go 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 and we forget to really acknowledge these these moments. Wow, yeah. And Rubianka, now I I also know that you're a nutritionist. Yes. And here is the interesting uh, that so many people uh, are always looking about like how many ways how they can lose weight fast. And they're all going on these crazy diets and their crazy activities, and and then they lose weight and then they recover the next week. And you know, you you have the perfect combination because you you know about nutrition and movement. And I consider that you're the perfect person to ask them. How do you see the fact of like what is really what is important when someone wants to lose weight, especially for example, an entrepreneur that wants to keep a good healthy lifestyle yes it's all about the habits right it's not something uh that you uh, will achieve in a in a short period of time of course it's 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 uh, it's easy to lose weight but after that that's the most difficult part and if you don't have your habits in place then um you are if we're talking about weight loss we are going to gain the, that weight back because you haven't established any habits before. Um, so for me, when I work with clients, I'm always meeting at what they are right now and uh, not giving them a fat diet, right? Uh, just like uh, 1,200 calories a day or whatever. Um, I have to first see who do I have in front of me? And um, how are they living their lives? What What is possible for them? And I, I also ask them, be realistic, right? I can change uh, everything you're eating right now from one day to another, but can can it last? Will you follow that? Same with movement. I know uh, if people are sedentary, never moved before. I'm not going to give them a, you know, a high intensity, uh, high volume program in the first place because they first need to first and and the foremost uh fuel the body first in, in in order for them to understand okay what's going on and how do they move same with nutrition I've, i'm not gonna change everything i will change little things and together with the client together with that person because um I'm there only to coach them or to guide them. Uh, at the end of the day, the person will have to do the work. And if they cannot, well, if they're not being realistic enough, 
it's going to be very difficult. So I'm always first assessing their lifestyle. Um, do they have small kids? Do they have a demanding job? Um, do they have other social uh, gatherings and, and, and things like that? And from there, we can make a, a plan. And it needs to really fit in their life. So it is a small steps. And sometimes it, we're going to start with, okay, we what can you do? Maybe it's just drinking, try to drink water, you know, uh, throughout the day because they haven't been do doing that. And if they can do that consistently very uh, well, then we go to the next step. Before that, I... I you know, it's it's going to be very, very difficult. And you see, and I always ask, well, you tried everything. You tried uh, this and this diet. Um, it worked for a while, but then, as you said, yes, it's uh, it, it all comes back. Wonderful. Wonderful. There you have it, friends. Uh, for everyone that, uh, that is joining us today, if you have a question, in, in the subjects that we have discussed today, for Rubianca, please don't hesitate to leave us a comment and we'll make sure to get in touch with you right away. Rubianca, we have been discussing very interesting points in, and, and there is so much we would love to share as well. So we're going to, going to make sure to share all your links and for, for our guests, for, for our viewers today. If I may ask you, because we have been speaking from, from entrepreneurship in the sense of multidimensional connection, multidimensional uh, entrepreneurship in terms of as well our body, our energy, our recovery, and now also building healthy habits. Now, if I will ask you that you had the possibility to put one message into the moon for everyone to see, so that will be the message that will reach humanity. What will be that message? It is, well, the message would be to um, live your life in order for you to live a, a long but very prosperous life. We always talk, we talk about what we're getting uh, older and older. But um, when we reach that older ages, that is, uh, I think, the most interesting part. How are we living our lives? We can live very long because of uh, technology, um, medicine, um, and all this stuff. But are we really living a good life? And um, that is my message. Live your life so you can live a long but very good and um, beautiful life. A life worth living. Thank you very much. Yes. Wonderful, Rubianca. And, and if one of our viewers would like to get in touch with you, how would be the best way for them to get in touch? Uh, the best way is I'm, I'm very active on uh, Instagram. So my handle is uh, coach.rubianca. So you can find me there um, on LinkedIn as well. Uh, it's my name, Rubianka Hans Uh There you can always DM me. I think that's the, the easiest way to get in touch with me. Wonderful. We'll make sure to put the links here as well. And in, in the case, we also would like to announce for the people in the Netherlands that Rubianka is also going to be in our next Inspiral Mindset events. We'll have one in June coming and where we're going to also address a lot of tips around nutrition. Rubianka, it's been a pleasure today. Thank you very much. Well, Carlos, thank you for uh, having me here. It was a good talk. And uh, yeah, have a good, uh, good day, everybody. Good day, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.